Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Most features in Microsoft Office, including PowerPoint, are geared towards saving and sharing files online. This is done with OneDrive, which is an online storage space for your documents and files, so you can access them even when you're away from your computer. If you want to use OneDrive, make sure that you're logged into PowerPoint with your Microsoft account. Whether or not you're using OneDrive, it's important to save your work frequently in case PowerPoint or your computer shuts down unexpectedly. Let's take a look at the regular save command first. You'll find it on the Quick Access toolbar. Just click, and if it's a new presentation, you'll be taken to the backstage view. Here, you can save the presentation to OneDrive or your computer. In this example, we're going to save the file to this computer. Click Browse to choose a location. Next, enter a file name for the presentation, and click Save when you're done. Now you can save your progress as you continue to work on the presentation. All you have to do is click the Save command on the Quick Access toolbar. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl S on your keyboard. If you want to save a different version of the file, maybe in a different location or with a different file name, you can go to the Backstage view, select Save As, and then follow the same steps. As you can see, the Save As location defaults to OneDrive, but if you primarily save presentations to your computer, you might want to change this setting so that this PC is always selected. To do this, click Options in the Backstage view. Then click Save in the left pane, and check the box that says Save to Computer by Default. When you're done, click OK to close the dialog box. If you ever forget to save, or if PowerPoint crashes while you're working, don't worry. The Auto Recover feature saves a backup copy of your presentation automatically. To recover a file that was lost without saving, all you have to do is reopen PowerPoint, and the Document Recovery pane should appear on the left. Here, you can access any auto-saved versions of the file. By default, PowerPoint auto-saves every 10 minutes, so if you were working on something for less than 10 minutes, you may not be able to use this feature. Next, I'd like to show you how to export your file to an alternative file type. You can access your options in the Backstage view under Export. PDF is a good choice if you need to send a file to someone who doesn't have PowerPoint. This format makes it possible for anyone to view, but not edit, the presentation. Under Change File Type, you can access several other formats depending on what you need. For example, if you're sharing with someone who has PowerPoint 2003 or earlier, you'll need to send them a 97 to 2003 presentation instead. Finally, let's take a look at more ways that you can share by going to Share in the Backstage view. Here, your choices will vary depending on whether or not the file is saved to your OneDrive account. For example, if it is saved to OneDrive, you can share it online and invite specific people to collaborate with you. This lets you work on the exact same file with friends, coworkers, and other OneDrive users, so you don't have to keep track of multiple versions, or keep sending the presentation back and forth. Alternatively, you can get a link that you can share any way you want. The way you choose to save and share in PowerPoint is up to you. It just depends on the presentation. With so many options, you should be able to accomplish exactly what you need, whether it's exporting your file as a PDF or sharing it online. 